Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Python Unleashed. My name is Ajay and today's topic is we are going to develop a program that is the palindrome program using the recursive function. In my previous tutorials already we have understood the working of recursive function, how a recursive function works. Uh, so, the, uh, so in this particular tutorial we are going to just uh, develop a program for checking whether a string is palindrome or not. Now, I hope that you know what is a palindrome program. A palindrome program, in short, I will tell you, is a word which, if you read it from the left-hand side or from the right-hand side, character by character, it will come down the same. For example, we have the word called as madam. Now, this word, if you read it character by character, uh, letter by letter, that is M-A-D-A-M. -A -A and then, from the right-hand side, if you read it M-A-D-A-M, -A -A it comes down the same. The word will come down the same, isn't it? Such a word is called as palindrome. Okay, now as far as Python is concerned, you know, to develop a palindrome program, it is extremely easy. Using the string splicing, we can easily check whether a string is palindrome or not. And we also don't need to, you know, uh, use any loops for that as compared to any other programming language. So it is that easy in Python. But this particular tutorial is uh, particularly for the recursive function how using the recursive function we can develop a palindrome program and this is what we need to see okay so uh, let us take a word that is Lennox now what logic should be applied that is what I'm going to tell you suppose we have a word called as Lennox okay now this particular word is not a palindrome so what we're going to do is the logic that we're going to apply is we will give a call to the function maybe call it as a palindrome function and we will pass the string okay that is Lennox and then I will check whether the length of the string is 1 since the length of the string is not 1 again I will give the call to the same function inside the palindrome and uh, this time I will just slice the first character I will just remove this first character and pass the rest of the character so that is E N N O X and again I will check whether the condition that is the length of the string is 1 or not and if not the condition is true so in that case again I give a call to the same function slicing the first character so every time I give a call to the function I will slice the first character from that particular string so you can see this is L got sliced then E got sliced then N got sliced again N then O and then X okay but once we reach over here the length of this particular string is 1 so this is where the condition will go false and then this recursive function will start returning okay once the function starts returning what we are going to do is we are going to return the first x to its previous call so we will have the previous call function the string s as ox isn't it we will be joining this x and from this string we are going to take only the first character every time we are going to only take the first character from the previous call so x plus o and we will have x o over here that is s1 we will collect that into s1 and uh, that is x o and then this is what we're going to return to the previous uh, to the to, to its previous call and in the previous call we have n o x but we are only going to take the first character so we have x o n then this gets returned to the previous call and we have this string so we will only take n that is the first character and we have this this will get returned to the previous call and we have this particular string in that is the value of s and we are only going to take e from this and we will have this and finally we will have this particular word that got generated but since this word is not a palindrome so this s is not equal to s1 so we will just print that the string is not palindrome another example that we have is the word madam which is a palindrome so the same logic if you apply i'm going to give calls to the function to the same function inside the function and i'm going to slice the first character you can see m got sliced so we just pass the rest of the character then a got sliced then d a m then d got sliced a m and at the last we have m then this gets uh, returned to the previous call so we will have m and only the first character m and a and then m a gets returned to the previous so we only collect the d so that is m a d this gets returned we have only a from this so m a d a 
and then this gets returned to the previous call so we have the value of s as madam so only take this m and you can see over here s is equal to s1 why because this particular word is a palindrome and so we'll print the message uh, accordingly okay so let us start this now let us have this okay i'll just delete and uh, let us have this function called as palindrome okay and we will have the parameter as s and the first thing that we need to do is we need to check whether the length of s if it is not equal to one if it is not equal to one means the length is something that is more than one there are two characters four characters or five characters then in that case what i'm going to do is i will have s1 over here and um, i will just give a call to the same function that is palindrome but this time i'm going to use the string slicing and just say one and colon now what does this mean this means that since the index value starts from zero but i'm starting it from one because i want to slice that first character every time i give a call i want to slice this first character i don't want this l i want to pass only this e n n o x in case if this is the word that we are passing so i will not take this l now the index value of l will be zero the first character index value is zero so we will only pass the rest of the character that is this part isn't it so this how will i get it this i will get it that is the first character index value i will start from one and not from zero and then this i'm keeping as blank so which means it will go till the end of the string okay and then i'm going to add this once this function returns is where this is going to work i told you that we are going to every time it returns we are going to only add the first character we only take the first character of the previous call okay so slowly we will just understand this and then over here what i'm going to do is return the s1 okay else now else part is when this len of s actually becomes one and what I, what i'm going to do over here i'm simply going to return the string s that is this once we reach to the end that is only one character so i will only return this s okay so this gets uh, x will get returned to its previous call so over here in the previous call the value of x is ox but i will only take the o character and i will join that and you know store that into s1 and then this is what will get written see you can see over here i'm returning s1 okay just see for the you know when the a word will have or the string only has one character and it goes to the else part i return s but then once it returns and then every time it will return as one after that okay and then what i'm going to do over here is uh, i will simply check okay let me just take a value s and word like madam okay and how i can do this is uh, simply i will say s is equal to if s is equal to i'll just give a call to the function this will be the first call and i will pass the value s and simply if the condition is true then i will simply print the string or the word is palindrome okay and else i will just simply say that the string is not palindrome okay that's it now let us just run this and see the output okay there is some syntax error that we have come up okay i just forgot to specify the string that is s over here isn't it now let us run this and you can see the word is madam so you can see the output is the string is palindrome okay let us change this to something like Linux and let me just run this and you can see the string is not palindrome okay now just to show you how the values are getting uh, you know every time the function returns what are the values of s and s1 so we'll just print over here 
the value of S1 is equal to, I will say, just for your understanding, uh, comma S1. And then uh, again, one more that I will give that the value of X, okay, is equal to uh, comma S. Now let us run this. Now the word that we have is Lennox. So let us see the output. Now you can see, okay, just a minute. Let me give this as equal to. Okay, now let us see the output. Now you can see the value of S1 is XO and the value of S is OX. Now this is because uh, this, we are not printing anything over here. We, so this one character will not get printed. You will only have two characters. You can see the two characters over here. So this is S1, okay, and this is S. So this is the previous call value okay and this is what we collected okay so uh, we only took the first character that is o and uh, when it passed that s when the condition becomes false that was x so x and the first character of this that is x o and then this is what we, we are going to return so can you see this return s1 and uh, return s1 so this value gets returned to its previous call in the previous call the value of uh, s is n o x and what we did is we did x o and the first character of s that is n and we had x o n and then this value again got written so we had this and the first character of s that is n and similarly we had this and this and you can see S1 is this and S is Lennox. The reverse of this is S1. So this is not a palindrome. But if you have the word that is madam, okay, if you run this, so in that case, you can see S1 is madam and S is also madam. So in this case, the string is palindrome. Okay, so I hope you have understood this. If not, just reverse this video and slowly just go by it, okay? Pause if you want, uh, just trace it on a paper and slowly just go through it and I'm pretty sure you'll understand this, okay? So that's it for today. Bye for now.